Hi, you, traveler. Welcome to my tavern yet again, lads. Good to have you here. I will serve you my finest ale. My newly established tavern, lads. Listen to that echo. Yowza. It does sound like it. So, we got some very interesting beard advice for you today. Uh, and beard advice I haven't really heard anywhere else, so stick around. I think you're, you're going to find it interesting and useful and valuable, rather. And um, speaking about things that aren't you know, spoken about on this platform, this is the only style channel on YouTube that speaks about cultivating the mind and your personalized sense of style at the exact same time time and so think about subscribing you don't have to you can leave right now but if you subscribe i will kiss you directly on the lips and you will like it <laughs> let's put it that way so something i've realized as i've been growing out this year i haven't been trimming this thing whatsoever throughout this entire 365 days i just hit month seven guys uh something i've realized is if you do the same thing as your beard grows out, you don't adapt to the new length and to the new chaos that manifests itself, then you will fail. Simply put, uh, things will uh, come out of nowhere and, and you'll start questioning the styling methods that you're using. Right? All of a sudden you go, oh, like, why isn't the roller brush and the blow dryer the, you know, the way I was doing it? Why is that not working anymore? Like, uh, was it just all a fluke before? And now all of a sudden, you know, uh, <laughs> and now all of a sudden I, I'm just doing it wrong now? Or, or what, what's going on, right? When in reality, a lot of the time is that particular strategy worked at a shorter length. Now your beard is longer. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> That's the thing, guys. You have to learn how to adapt when you're growing out your beard. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through a little timeline here. When I was, uh, you know, I was pretty, not stubble-ish, but, you know, I was trying, started to get a little bit of a beard, let's say, around the one to two month mark. All I was doing, guys, I just got a synthetic boar bristle brush, uh, blow dryer, took everything to one side, everything to the other side, up, down, you know, just to kind of straight out the hairs. And uh, a minute later, I was done and at a short beard and that's pretty much all any anybody would have to do but um as the beard gets longer everybody's different right i have my uh styling routines at all the different lengths of beards that i've gone through so far i'm gonna make a playlist i'm gonna link it up here so i have the um uh, the, the short one uh the medium length beard uh and then four inch beard and then four and a half inch beard and i'm gonna make a five inch beard styling tutorial coming up soon because <laughs> all the problems i've been talking about in my late, latest year update have been eliminated because i recently found something i've adapted uh, my strategies and i found something to get rid of all of that wispiness that i've been dealing with and also some of the like really annoying uh, imbalances for between the right side of my beard and the left side of my beard so the fact of the matter is I release these types of videos, how to style your beard at different lengths, because that's what works for me. That's how I remove my specific problem areas and if, for a guy that has a, you know, a beard texture like mine. And my beard is pretty curly, and but more so wavy than curly. Um, but in a, in those strategies might work for you, but you're going to have to tweak them. Like, it's almost inevitable that the exact strategy I use might, might not get the same result for you you might have to do slight tweaks so i think one of the best things you can do is understand that uh, what you see probably won't get you the results that it, it you know it does for me you have to do slight tweaks and then also every let's say half inch that goes onto that beard you're gonna have to add another little aspect right uh recently uh the, like around this point is the first time i've started using a type of holding product right uh, for the longest time, I like sometimes I use a little mustache wax to kind of hold everything in place. But actually, uh, a lot of the times, um, it, it actually did more harm than good. But I found a product recently that, uh, well, it's it's been around for quite a while now, and people have been putting it in their beards um, to you know keep things a little straighter. Uh, that styling routine is coming soon. I'm kind of still optimizing it to make sure that it's sound. Um, and that the product, uh, I, you know, I'm, so I can get my thoughts straight on it. 
Uh, I'm not going to say what it is yet. You have to wait for the video. Um, but the you know the the point being is I realized that you know at my length. Okay, now I need a holding product. I like a bomb or whatever, but it's not a bomb. Um, but uh, before that, I didn't need one, right? My beer just held its own. You know, I used you know the heat brush and the uh, you know the blow dryer and a round brush. Uh, well, I mean, um, if you check out my 4.5 inch styling routine, you can check that out there. Uh, that's what I did. That's what I've been doing for around this length of beard. But then I've you know, then I grow another f half inch and I go, hmm, okay, so now we're, we're, well, that isn't really working anymore. So what else can we do, right? So I added a few things, right? And you'll see what I've added once that video gets released. Hopefully I will release it soon. So just think about all the things I've said here, guys. I, I think it's really, really important to just understand that uh, if you don't adapt, then you're gonna be like, well, okay, this beard length doesn't work. For, it's getting too long, too unmanageable. So I'm gonna trim it down, or I'm gonna shave it off entirely, and that's the wrong thing to do. The, the the right thing to do is look at the products that other people are using. Look at you know the uh, um, styling strategies. You know the physical. You know how are they finagling the the round brush through their beard? Uh, you know how long are they holding? You know, um, a certain pro problem area in place so they can iron it out, you know, very, very small things like that. And then, yeah, there's a lot of things to consider, guys, like s styling your beard in a steam-filled room. That's one that nobody thinks about. And, when, <laughs> and s like, don't do that, right? Uh, that's something I realized, and it, it was really messing up my beard styling forever, right? Um, you know, you notice all this, you have to notice all the small things. Everyone focuses on the big things, but all the really subtle, you know, it's, re it's really an art. Let's put it that way. Like, it, it, like there's a skill behind styling your beard, guys. Um, especially when you, if, you have, if you have a stubborn beard like mine. Some guys have a pretty naturally straight beard. They can run the blow dryer through, boom, 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 done, right? <laughs> Not me, no way. And there's some guys that have it even worse than me. The guys with really, really wiry beards, um, you know, or, or guys with super straight beards, but then, you know, they, um, they have really weird growth patterns where the beard just starts growing like this. And there's a lot of different things that could happen. So lads, hopefully this, this has been useful to you. Please watch all those styling routines that I linked, that I put in that playlist. Just borrow and tweak and adapt. Borrow, tweak, adapt. I like that. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful night.